so this thing is fast and fun the Grabner race rat came out in the 1980s it was the first uh, electric plane kit that I bought uh, having spent a lot of time building balsa models with buggy motors and Nike batteries Grabner came out with this one it had a plastic fuselage and a built-up wing and uh, the plastic fuselage it started cracking over time and you couldn't really fix it very well so the model didn't last too long but uh, I missed it, it was a great model and then one came up on eBay for sale, an untouched kit so quick video here just showing the build here you can see the wing construction nothing uh, new about this, just a basic balsa construction I put some carbon fibre in on the spars just to give the wing some extra strength it's quite a fast model so uh, you can pull some G in the turn so I wanted to try and beef up the wing a little bit whilst I was making it went together very easily spruce spars that you can see the carbon on one of the spars there small ailerons on this model it goes so fast you don't need to have full span ailerons it'll uh, yeah the roll rate is very good standard servos installed modern gear is so powerful now with brushless motors there's no need for really having to save any weight this model's got an epoxy fuselage uh, got that also on ebay so I was very lucky to get that so not struggling with the plastic anymore here's the model just at the end of the construction phase covered it with just normal solar film put some silver on the leading edges and that has really been a, a big benefit it gets small pretty quickly this model so being able to orientate it in the air is, is useful there's a motor and speed controller configuration it's running on the 3656 with an 1800 kV and a 60 amp speed controller which all sits up in the nose it's pretty heavy <coughs> if you guys have got any thoughts on this you look at this motor I've turned it on here it's just uh, staging up by itself this isn't me on the throttle this is just automatically going up by itself it's a bit frustrating because it's very slow if you've got any ideas as to why that is then please leave some comments down below give it a good throw and uh, see it drags a little bit at the start but it's uh, there's so much power in the engine it really uh, picks up pretty quick so uh, this model will easily go vertical but uh, as you'll see my style of flying is uh, big uh, sweeping turns flies like it's on rails this model it's uh, very stable and I've uh, got a nice sweet roll rate on it like I said it goes so quickly there's no problem with the smaller ailerons it rolls nicely the elevators a bit more sensitive I feel like I need to put in a little bit more expo on that because you'll see later in the film that uh, it pitches uh, a bit bit quickly but uh, it's just a case of getting used to it see from the way I'm flying that I'm coming in pretty low and fast there's a reason for that when I first started flying the model if I came in from from some some height with full power on 
uh, I noticed or heard very clearly the noise of uh, some flutter coming. I don't know if it was coming from the elevator or the aileron, uh, but quite clearly there was some flutter there, so uh, I need to be careful not to max out the top speed too much. So flies okay at full power if I'm not coming out of a dive, so that's why you see I'm coming flat and fast rather than diving fast. I don't want to risk the model losing one of the control surfaces because that would spell the end of it pretty quick. I fly this model with a 2600 mAh battery and I got the timer set for 6.5 minutes which after the sort of flying that you've just been seeing gives me about 40-45% uh, remaining capacity so it's uh, quite a comfortable comfortable size of battery. And bringing it around to land you've got to go out wide and try and come in as low as possible because this thing just does not want to stop flying it goes and goes and goes it's a little bit of a downslope on the field here which doesn't help either but uh, anyway gets down all right the grass is a bit long here which sometimes grabs a blade and you get a broken prop on it but uh, other than that though any ideas regarding why the motor speed controller is slow to activate leave some comments I'd be interested to know hope you enjoyed the film thanks